from Realm Lovers. We're here with another episode today. And today we have Appleton Estates. And we got, well, we got the rare blend and we got the rare cast. Which one do you think we should drink today? Well, same thing. This is the new design right here. The new sexy bottle of the Appleton. And this is the old school, the vintage look right here. And this is the rare blend. So, Appleton Estate, the second oldest estate in the Caribbean, second after Barbados. This was the estate was founded in 1749. Appleton Estate is located in the Nassau Valley, and fun fact, I have been able to visit that that estate. It's beautiful, beautiful views from up there. Uh, we had to meet meet Paz, the donkey that crushes the cane. They kind of carry you through some of the old um, techniques from back in the day with the, the um, manual labor of crushing cane and stuff like that. We went to the, um, the storehouses where they store the barrels and it's really nice, you know, really nice. You saw barrels from 30 years ago, plus it's a really nice experience. So anytime you visit Jamaica, definitely go out there, definitely try to get a visit at the Appleton Estate and they carry you through a delicious tour. They give you cane juice, they give you rums, they give you cocktails, a really nice place to visit. So, as I said before, we got two different bottles, two different styles, the old style and the new style. And the old style, um, really nice label, you got the embossed C right here, and then there's also the metal cork. So, old style, this is what I'm accustomed to, and always love this bottle, love the neck, love the size of it. And then now they got the new bottle, which is actually quite taller, and it's taller also because of this thickened glass on the bottom. So it gives a higher profile, makes it look really nice. And then there's a wooden cork and a metal seal on top that tells you it's Appleton Estate 12 years. So this honestly, it's a bit fancier, you know, and it, it, it's really, they, they spend some more money on this. The wooden cork is really nice. The kind of golden metal cap here is really nice. And then you get the thicker, um, glass on the bottom so both bottles really nice but honestly the newer one is definitely an upgrade in my mind but in the comments below you let me know you tell me which one you prefer um, but honestly I'm gonna go with the newer bottle so let's move on from the nice appearances of these bottles and let's move on to the tasting of these bottles so I got a lot of apples that are wrong here this is my third bottle it's one I actually have open there's the old school bottle and there's a larger bottle this is the one liter bottle I haven't seen this anywhere on the new bottles as yet. I haven't seen one of the larger ones as yet. But definitely, if you drink a lot of Appleton, you need to get a one liter. The 0.75 just isn't enough. Now we pour. All right, so you could see that nice, deep, rich color right there. Always swim and look for the legs. All right, now this is a 12 year old rum, so you definitely should get some legs coming. You see how long it's taken. I haven't seen any legs develop as yet, so that really speaks to the age of the rum right there. See the rim? All right, just see some legs now forming. This video might be like 20 minutes long if I'm staying here waiting for these legs because it's taking forever. All right, we just see some growing on the ends right there. So that's the legs, a really old rum, a nice 12 year or older. You get some nice legs, you get a little green sheen on the rim right there. And that really speaks to the age of the rum. All right, so this is a nicely aged rum, very mature, full body. The legs are taking forever for this thing. So this is really one of those quality rums all right out of the Appleton Estate. And now we knows. All right, so you definitely get the wood for sweetness. You get a faint spice, a really faint spice in the back there. I don't know if that's like a citrus. I don't know, I think that's it. I think that's it for the nose for me. But as usual, we're going to go through and we're going to get some more expert opinions on the, on the later end. Now we taste. So, got a sweetness on the front, 
and a sweetness on the back. Sweetness on the front, I think, much more closer to a citrus. And then on the back, you get another sweetness, but then you get some molasses and some burnt tasting notes on the back end. Get a pretty good mouth feel. But again, um, lots of molasses flavor, lots of burnt flavor. It's quite unique tasting. I've tried the signature, I've tried the, the reserve, and the palette of this is quite different from the others. A um, lot more oak, a lot more molasses, a lot more burnt taste, and that kind of that burnt molasses flavor, and then you get that sweetness. The sweetness honestly kind of counteracts it to some extent because it's so, you get the sweetness on the front and on the back with the molasses. Very unique taste, honestly, pretty different from a lot of the other Appleton products. Also very woody, very woody. Mm. Cheers. That was my tasting notes. As you can see by the empty glass, it was delicious. However, I always like to go back to the experts and see what they're saying about the tasting notes and the nose on the different types of liquor that I'm also enjoying. All right, so one of the, the experts that I found they said some of the flavor characteristics should be vanilla, ginger, apricot, honey, and oak. Now, honestly, I didn't get all that. So I got some sweetness, which I assume would have been the more honey apricot flavors. And I got the oak. However, I definitely didn't get ginger. I don't know how, how you get ginger in there. And vanilla, I did get some sort of spice, but I don't know. Sometimes it's really difficult to decipher between, you know, vanilla and the sweetness and, and the fragrance of the vanilla with some of the other sweet components of a rum, right? Another thing that they said was like deep oak, which I definitely got, um, fruity, cocoa notes, fruity, mm, cocoa notes, again, didn't get it. Um, followed by delicate molasses, definitely got molasses. Molasses was quite there and um, orange peel. Did get that citrus orange kind of flavor, so I think I got that as well. Subtle cocoa and hints of toasted oak and almond. I definitely got the toasted oak. Almond usually comes pretty close with toasted oak. So I would say I'm almost there with that. Um, however, but those are like the professional tasting notes for um, the Appleton Rare Blend, also now known as the Rare Cast. This Appleton Rare Blend, this is the one liter which can't find anywhere in the US. However, you could get the Rare Cast uh, which 0.75 liter the new bottle all right this bottle here you can find on most shelves across america and in some places you could get this old bottle now for me i'm holding on to my old bottles because you know some collector is going to pay me a million bucks one day for it <laughs> i kid if you like that woody taste and you like that little molasses burn in the end you're gonna love this wrong this is another unique product out of appleton I've tried many different rums across the Caribbean and this one, it would stand out. You can't just give this as a generic rum and be like, oh yeah, you know, put some Coke on it. Yes, Coke might work well with it, but i rather sip these things neat. And honestly, sometimes just putting a little ice in it, it just, whoa. You put ice in this drink, you're going to love it because then that's when all those subtle tones really come forward and the, the the strength of the alcohol the burn of the alcohol and those kind of things just mellow out so this is definitely another drink that you should try another drink that you should add to your collection so rum lovers for 40 bucks you could get this bottle right here and that is going to be a unique taste in rum that you get from Appleton estate very different from any other on the line you get a lot more molasses flavor a lot more um, oaky flavor uh, you get a little burnt kind of bitterish taste on the background uh, very unique rum you can't replace it with anything else in your inner liquor cabinet that is guaranteed i have tasted a ton of rums and nothing compares to this appleton rare blend okay rum lovers so that concludes this video as you can see this rum was delicious next video is going to be amazing so stay tuned, subscribe, 
and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.